Now we can return to our topic of adding and subtracting fractions. Before we were just dealing with like fractions, but now we know enough to add and subtract unlike fractions. So watch this example. 2 over 5 plus 3 over 8. Again, we can't add the 2 and the 3 in this case because the 2 represents 2 fifths and the 3 represents 3 eighths. They're different things. A fifth is a different thing from an eighth. So these are different types of things. They're unlike fractions. So we need to rewrite them both so that they have a common denominator. The common denominator in this case has to be, or in any case, has to be a multiple of both of the denominators. So we need a number that is a multiple of 5 and a multiple of 8. And in this case, that number is 40. So I'm going to take the 2 fifths and rewrite it as a fraction with the denominator as 40, a de denominator of 40. So I think to myself, 5 times 8 gives me the 40. So I also multiply the numerator times 8. And 2 times 8 is 16. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 16 over 40. And we'll do the same thing with the 3 eighths, my other fraction here. I'm going to take 3 eighths and write it with a denominator of 40. So 8 times what is 40? 8 times 5. So since I've multiplied the denominator by 5, I also multiply the numerator by 5 and put the result over here. So 3 times 5 is 15. So 3 eighths is equal to 15 fortieths. And now we can add the two fractions because they're like fractions. Instead of trying to add 2 fifths and 3 eighths together, I can add the 16 over 40 because that's equal to 2 fifths and the 15 over 40 because that's equal to 3 eighths. And I can add those up directly. I can just write 16 over 40 plus 15 over 40. And now I can combine the numerators. 16 and 15 is 31. So 31 over 40 is my answer.